What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to an extra episode of The Roundup As we're gonna be discussing the latest in regards to Dove Ziggler Before I get started though, early on today I posted episode 241 of The Roundup Discussing all the latest in regards to Brock Lesnar potentially leaving the WWE following Wrestlemania 34 The latest in regards to Rey Mysterio joining New Japan Pro Wrestling And discussing multiple other reports, so if you guys haven't checked that episode out yet make sure that you guys do nonetheless let's get on into today's extra episode and we are talking about Dolph Ziggler as I said as reports are indicating that Dolph Ziggler signed a new WWE contract and as you guys know I've been discussing Dolph Ziggler a lot especially ranting at the fact that WWE is not booking him correctly and after I read this report from you guys it seems like the same thing is gonna keep on happening during a recent edition of the locker room podcast independent wrestler Vin the Hacker has discussed Dove Ziggler's status with the WWE and I quote here's the inside scoop that I kind of been told after Dove Ziggler laid down the title and went away for 30 days silently came back as number 30 on the Royal Rumble match and then tuss out kinda useless he was already kinda two feet out of the door and it was at the 11 hour that they made him another offer he can't refuse big money and the fact that now that he will stay he's willing to put over anyone and he's willing to do the jobs Hammond also indicated that Dove Ziggler can leave after his matches as he doesn't need to stick around the arena and he can take outside projects as long as they don't conflict with his schedule kinda the sweet deal you know I'm willing to stay a little longer because you met my price so that is basically the latest in regards to Dove Ziggler he's gonna be staying with the WWE and this reports indicating that Dove Ziggler pretty much got the deal that he wanted he's now gonna be able to be doing outside projects as long as they don't conflict with his WWE schedule which clearly is very annoying because now we know that Dove Ziggler is gonna go back to what he has been doing for the last three years which is putting everybody else over while his character is pretty much on repeat of course i'm hoping that that is not the case i know this upcoming week Dove Ziggler is gonna go against baron corvin and the winner of that match will be added to a fatal four-way match at fast lane for the wwe championship but in the end we know that Dove Ziggler is not gonna be coming out victorious especially now that we know that he already signed another contract with the wwe so at this point the wwe doesn't have to make it up to him and quote unquote give him the title before he leaves so that hopefully he signs another contract because again the contract that's already signed hell I wouldn't be surprised if WWE have him lose against Baron Corbin this upcoming Tuesday it is a sad situation but I'm hoping that that is not the case now we don't know any other specific in regards to his new contract but if it was like last time then his contract is probably for three years and it's probably just like his current contract in the way that he is already taking other projects outside of the WWE that are not necessarily wrestling related but nonetheless he's still doing them so he's probably in the same situation with a little bit more money and a little bit more leverage just to make him happy while he's putting other guys over nonetheless you savages that is what i got for you guys for this extra episode let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this situation subscribe if you haven't yet because we're in the road to 100,000 subscribers i'm with you dig it